Hello there, this is Johnny at Man and Machine. This is going to be a quick demonstration of the new feature inside of BIM 360 Docs that allows you to share files with anybody. Um, so previously, you could only share files with people who were invited to projects and therefore they would consume a license. So this is really useful if you have, say, hundreds of suppliers or lots of subcontractors that they really only need to receive a file um, and they don't necessarily need to be able to have access to the um, BIM 360 docs interface, so folders or uploading things, etc. Um, so the way this works is if I just head to a documents area I have, I've got a few documents here set up. So this is going to be Word, PowerPoint, etc. Um, some PDFs that I have that I might want to share, but it will work with any file types that you can put into the project files area. It will only work with project files at the moment, it won't work with anything in the plans area. Um, but it's um, a very simple process. So if I select these four files here and I click share, um, previously I would be able to share these with project members but not with the public. So what I've got to do is head to the project admin area to actually set this up, which I'm going to do. Uh, so if I head to my project admin and to change the setting, uh, the new setting is in advanced settings in the document management area um, and it's this public link for project. So by default, it will probably be off in most of the projects that you're working on at the moment. So I can just turn that on. Once this is on, if I head back to the same four documents that I was just looking at, I will have uh, a new option and I'll be able to just type in email addresses um, to anybody. So as long as I've got the email address, I'm, I'm able to share it. So I'm going to select them again, click on share, and this time I can click share with public. So all I need to do here is just type in the email address of the person I need to send it to. And I'm just going to quickly need to check my email address here. So demo.mam.user. So demo.mam.user at gmail.com. Here we go. Okay. And I can just type a little message in here if I want. And I can also choose when this link will actually expire. So I can say if I want it to expire in a week, let's say um, I can do that. So I'm then going to hit send and it's pretty immediate the way that this works. So if I head back to my emails, um, I should see that that's now come through. So I can select this, uh, click on the files and then I can see the four documents that I might need to view. So if I just click on one of these PDFs, um, it will take me through to what looks like a BIM 360 doc screen and I can just download that PDF or whatever the file is. So. The reason this feature is so useful is that if I just head back to my BIM 360 docs area, what I can actually do is I still have a paper trail or an audit trail of what has happened on my project. So I've shared these files with someone outside the project and that person has then viewed those files. So if I was somebody on this project wanting to make sure perhaps that people have viewed the files or um, the files have actually been shared in the first place, um, I can use my activity log on the project and what I'll be able to see here is that um, the files have been shared. So four documents have been shared. So some contract documents with this email address. And then that email address, who is an unknown user because they're not a part of the project, but I do not have the email address, has then viewed those documents. So there's actually a full audit or paper trail of those documents going out and then those documents being viewed. Um, so this is a really useful tool to not only be able to just share documents, but also be able to keep track of what's going on in the project. So I hope this has been helpful. If there are any questions, please do get in touch with Man and Machine. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.